chapter 31. I made a covenant with my eyes not to look with lust upon a young woman. What has God above chosen for us? What is our inheritance from the Almighty on high? It is calamity for the wicked, misfortune for those who do evil. He sees everything I do and every step I take. Have I lied to anyone or deceived anyone? Let God judge me on the scales of justice, for he knows my integrity. If I have stayed from his pathway, or if my heart has lusted for what my eyes have seen, or if I am guilty of any other sin, then let someone else harvest the crops I have planted, and let all that I have planted be uprooted. If my heart has been seduced by a woman, or if I have lusted for my neighbor's wife, then may my wife belong to another man. May other men sleep with her. For lust is a shameful sin, a crime that should be punished. It is a devastating fire that destroys to hell. It would wipe out everything I own. If I have been unfair to my male or female servants, if I have refused to hear their complaints, how could I face God? What could I say when he questioned me about it? For God created both me and my servants. He created both of us. Have I refused to help the poor or crushed the hopes of widows who look to me for help? Have I been stingy with my food and refused to share it with hungry orphans? No, from childhood I have cared for orphans, and all my life I have cared for widows. Whenever I saw someone who was homeless and without clothes, did they not praise me for providing wool clothing to keep them warm? If my arm has abused an orphan because I thought I could get away with it, then let my shoulder be wrenched out of place. Let my arm be torn from its socket. That would be better than facing the judgment sent by God, for if the majesty of God opposes me, what hope is there? Have I put my trust in money or felt secure because of my gold? Does my happiness depend on my wealth and all that I own? Have I looked at the sun shining in the skies or the moon walking down its silver pathway and been secretly enticed in my heart to worship them? If so, I should be punished by the judges, for it would mean I had denied the God of heaven. Have I ever rejoiced when my enemies came to ruin or become excited when harm came their way? No, I have never cursed anyone or asked for revenge. My servants have never let others go hungry. I have never turned away a stranger, but have opened my doors to everyone. Have I tried to hide my sins as people normally do, hiding my guilt in a closet? Have I feared the crowd and its contempt, so that I refused to acknowledge my sin and would not go outside? If only I had someone who would listen to me and try to see my side. Look, I will sign my name to my defense. Let the Almighty show me that I am wrong. Let my accuser write out the charges against me. I would face the accusation proudly. I would treasure it like a crown, for I would tell him exactly what I have done. I would come before him like a prince. If my land accuses me and all its furrows weep together, or if I have stolen its crops or murdered its owners, then let thistles grow on that land instead of wheat and weeds instead of barley. Job's words are ended.